Hi everyone, I'm going to take a look at the J League Player of the Month pack that came out recently with the eFootball 24 update. It's a nominating contract pack. As always, I'll put timestamps in the description, so if there's a particular player you want to hear about, just have a look at the description. There'll be some links there that you can click. I'll take you straight to the player. So let's have a look at who we've got. Start with the lowest rated as always. So we've got Yamamoto, attacking midfielder. He's our whole player. Uh, he can play centre mid and defensive mid, but... I don't know. I mean, he's certainly not going to play defensive mid. I was going to say you wouldn't play him centre mid. He does have reasonable defensives actually for a three star. Um, there aren't many three stars this time around. Um, for a three star, you could get away with that if he's a, an offensive minded uh, centre midfielder. If you look at his skill set though, he doesn't have any defensive skills there. So you would need at least one other midfielder who's going to do the defensive work. Um, looking at his skills though, you see one touch pass, through passing, they're the key ones for a midfielder, especially an attacking midfielder, which is what this guy primarily is. He's got pinpoint crossing as well and long range curls, so if he drifts into the wide positions on either side, he's got a bit of end product there. But uh, yeah, only two attributes in the 80s though. 85 ball control is good for a 3 star, it's very good for a 3 star, and 89 for low pass is fantastic. I mean, that's very good even for a 5 star, so he's got a great pass on him. With one one touch pass and through passing, he, he's going to be very capable of creating chances for you. But if you look elsewhere, I mean, the attacking awareness only, only just shy of 80, so that's pretty decent. The dribbling type possession, though, not the best. He is quite short, so he's got a bit of a low center of gravity about him, but still a bit lacking there. Uh, finishing 75 isn't too bad with long range curl and 77 for curl. So his long range curl is for a three star could be decent. Um, as I say, defensives aren't too bad for an attacking midfielder. Um, but then on the right there, not much pace. Physically is quite weak. He's a little guy. The balance isn't brilliant as well. Um, and the stamina is a little bit iffy. So, yeah, he is. A, this is a three-star card. So he's not going to be the best. Um, but the whole player playing style, um, and like I say, with the skills there, he could be capable, certainly with 89 for low pass, he could, could be well capable of creating chances for you. But he is quite weak in some areas. So not the greatest card. He's got some qualities, though. Then we have Toriumi. So, a centre back, and annoyingly, this is what seems to be happening um, in recent Player of the Monk packs from the J League. They they put centre backs in whose defensive attributes are imbalanced. So, you see 89 for defensive awareness for a three star. That's great. That's really good. Tackling 84 is pretty good. Aggression 79. Yeah, that's, that's kind of okay. But 73 for defensive engagement. That's really poor. It's annoying. Um, Pace for centre backs okay. Jumping at 78, he's lacking a bit. He's five foot eleven, just shy of six foot. Only 78 for jumping. You look over at his skills here. He does have aerial superiority and heading, so that will compensate a bit for that. But he's still still 78 for jump and not being the tallest. I think even with aerial superiority, he could be a bit lacking in the air. He's got blocker, which is great. Acrobatic clearance as well, but he lacks interception. He lacks man marking as well. And with that 73 defensive engagement, I think, to be honest, you're only really going to pick this guy up if you're de desperate for a centre-back to go in your, your squad for the J-League challenge. And they're giving us loan players now if we are lacking players. So I think ultimately, unless you've got three-star contracts to burn, he's probably not going to be much use for many people. And then we have Yamashita, another whole player attacking midfielder. <clears throat> so... In a lot of ways, better than the, the first one we looked at. He was uh, another Hulk player attacking midfielder, but this time around, a bit better on the ball there. Passing not so great, though. Only 80 for low pass. It could be worse. This is a three-star card. Finishing 82, though, is pretty good, though. For an attacking midfielder, 82 is pretty good. And he's got good pace. The speed and acceleration, both 85. Balance could be better. Stamina's not brilliant. If we look at his skill set, he's got a super sub. So the stamina's not great, but if this guy's coming off the bench, he could be pretty effective. And those two key skills for an attacking midfielder, one touch pass and through passing. So that could compensate well for having only 80 for low pass. It's not a brilliant card. Again, it's just a three star. But uh, the way I see this guy, and he's quite versatile as well. He can play wide right and wide on the left. But um, I think with that whole player playing style, attacking midfielder, and the fact he's got one touch pass and through passing, I think attacking midfielder is where, where he's going to be best. And certainly if he's coming off the bench. With those skills, with 82 finishing as well, if he makes good runs into the box, he could be a, a pretty dangerous substitute to have. Uh, again, it's a three-star card and he's, he's not the best. And then the last of our three stars, Nozawa, goalkeeper. Um, honestly, this guy's not great. He he is quite tall um, for a Japanese keeper. Six foot four, I think that is. So he's quite tall. The awareness is good. Catching and powering are okay. 
and down there you look at the reach at 82 for a guy at all as he is that's pretty good reach so you know he's got the coverage but the there's two big problems with this guy the first one 66 for jumping is terrible and then the second one 80 for reflexes that's not good enough so yeah if you're really desperate for a keeper for the j league challenge fair enough but again we'll get loan players and the likely it is if you get loan players the goalie that you get on loan for that challenge will probably be better than this but if you've got contracts to burn three-star contracts maybe we were picking up but uh like i say 80 for reflexes and 66 for jump that's a little bit worrying for me that's one of the, the poorer goalkeepers we've had in these jd packs on to the four stars now though we've got seven four stars that's more than we normally get in these packs and the first of those is a good one in suzuki there is one area where he is obviously weak and i don't think you need me to tell you which one it is on the ball he is poor 69 68 standing out 74 for ball control might not be too bad but on the whole he's going to be awkward on the ball i've actually got him i picked him up on my playstation account and he's he, you it's not too bad you know you, you can get on the ball and and you know play a pass and it's not it's not too difficult to handle him on the ball but you will notice it those attributes don't lie um but with that being said he is kind of a target man type of striker He's got the fox in the box play style though, which is better in the sense that he'll be, he'll be making more runs forward, he'll be a bit more aggressive with his movement. But outside of that, you know, for for that type of striker, you can you can kind of get away with it. And when you look outside of that, 85 attacking awareness is good. Finishing 85, good. Heading 84, good. On the right pace is for his for this type of striker, it's okay. It's not he's not quick, but he's not too slow. Kicking power and jumping are good. Jumping is important for this guy. Physical contact not too bad but it's for a, you know for a four star it's okay balance isn't the best but again he's, he's a physical type of striker he wants to get on the end of crosses stamina 80 is actually pretty good for the type of striker he is so he's physically strong he's got a jump on him and he's got the awareness and finishing both with his shooting and his heading but then you look at his skill set heading acrobatic finishing aerial superiority down there he's gonna be great from crosses uh i've used him before i signed him in master league in years gone by i've got two versions of him on eFootball. He is good from crosses. He'll win headers. He'll finish when the ball's in the air. And he also has first time shot. One touch pass is handy. His low pass at 71 might not be brilliant, but for a centre forward, it's not too bad. And when you combine that with one touch pass and through passing, that's handy, you know, especially since he's not great on the ball. If he's not great on the ball, you don't want to hold him to the ball too long. At 71 low pass with one touch pass and through passing, you don't need to hold onto the ball. Just lay it off for a teammate. And the fact he's as strong as he is in the area. He's a real fox in the box, really is, not just the play style. He's a guy who, when you give him service, you put crosses in, you lay the ball to him in the box, he'll get shots and headers away and he'll score goals for you. So for a four-star J-League player, pretty handy. I think it's a decent card. And then we have Matteo Savio. <clears throat> so box-to-box -box play style. This guy's a creative midfielder. So I don't think box-to-box -box is really the most ideal play style for him. It's a bit of a shame in a way. Um, he can play centre mid, he's not too bad defensively there, but you look at his skill set, there's nothing really defensively. I think it's, it's a waste if you play this guy as a centre mid. Uh, you're really going to want to play him as either an attacking mid or wide left or right. You see here, he's got one touch pass, through passing, he's got pinpoint crossing, some dribbly stuff as well. He, he's, a, he's got some good skills for a creative midfielder. And you look at the strengths he's got, he's got good pace. and he, He's pretty good at dribbling and his passing is quite good as well. Again, this is a four-star card. None of the players in this pack are going to be real elite players, five-star players. But this is a this is a fairly tidy one. Like with Suzuki, he's uh, he's got some decent attributes, and I think the the word for this guy is useful. He's useful. The fact the fact that he can play right midfield, left midfield, and attacking midfield it could be a handy one to have in your squad for these jelly challenges. And if you're new to the game and you need players in certain positions, he could be a useful one to pick up just to fill in. You know, if you need someone in a certain position in midfield, uh, he does have end product. Inconsistent form is a bit of a bummer. That's a bit of a shame. But uh, yeah, they've changed that apparently with the latest update for eFootball 24. So if he gets A or B, he should be okay. That shouldn't be an issue anymore. But uh, it will be an issue if he's only on C or below. But uh, yeah, tidy little creative midfielder, Savio. He he's not bad at all. And then next up, we have Hatsase. Another guy I've assigned, who I've signed in the past. I've had him in Master League a bunch of times. I've got him in eFootball. I've got two versions and now three. This is the third because this is the second time he's been in Player of the Month. He's basically a left back or left midfield. Um, he's quite capable at left back. His defences aren't brilliant, but they're not bad either. 
good pace, decent stamina. He's not brilliant on the ball. You've got to be careful with him on the ball. Don't ask too much of him when he's in possession. Passing, you know, low pass isn't the best, but lofted pass at 89, you're really in business. When it comes to crossing and then 85 for curl, he's quite good at set pieces actually, but 85 for curl oh, and 80 for kicking power. And he's got pinpoint crossing. This guy has got a deadly cross on him. As I said about bit playing as a left back, you know, he's not the best defensively. He's got acrobatic clearance, he's got fighting spirit, but that's about it. He doesn't have interception, blocker, man marking. He's he's lacking in skills and, and attributes really to play left back. But he can get away with it. He's got decent pace. And if you're if you're using this guy in the J League challenge, you can get away with him as a left back. I've played him at left back this card. I've got him on PlayStation and he's done alright for me as a left back. But for me, when he's got pinpoint crossing there, looking at the excellent stats he's got there for for crossing, he's a left midfielder for me. As long as you don't ask too much of him when he's in possession in terms of dribbling. He's got good pace. He's got a fantastic cross. And as an old school left winger, putting cross into the box, he's fantastic. You can play him on the right. He's got high strength on his right foot, but only uses it occasionally. He doesn't have outside curler. So he, you, you're probably going to find he's a bit awkward playing on the right. I think he's much better suited to playing on the left with his left foot and putting those crosses in. But uh, yeah, as a left back or a left, mid, left midfielder, very handy, I think. It's a decent card, this. And Watanabe. This is one of the better cards in this pack. He's been in Player of the Month before. I uh, picked that version up. It was a three-star. This time it's a four-star. Uh, I think this is one of the better ones in the pack. This is a pretty tidy card. So box-to-box -box again, like Savio, but this guy really is a box-to-box. -box. Um, he can play defensive mid, center mid, or attacking mid. I think really you're going to make the most of him being a box-to-box -box and put him right in the middle. That ball control for a four-star card is fantastic. The dribbling and tight possession, both being below 80, is a little bit disappointing, but... He's short. He's 165 centimetres. He's got good balance at 85. I think that low centre of gravity with the good balance could well compensate for that. I have tried him and, and I feel like it does. Uh, I think on the ball, on the hole, he's pretty tidy. 88 for low pass is really good. Down the middle, he can defend. He's not great defensively, but he's, he's certainly not poor. For a four-star four -star centre midfielder, box to box, I think that's fine. It's absolutely fine. For a centre mid, that's good pace. He is lacking a bit in strength. He's a little guy, as I mentioned, but the good balance and then stamina at 88 is pretty good. You then look at his skill set. He is lacking interception and defensive skills. That's the one thing with this guy. But long range shooting there. Got one touch pass. Lacking through passing as well, which is a bit of a shame, but he's got way to pass. He's got a bit of dribbly stuff there. He's tidy. He's, he's a tidy midfielder. Um, I think with the lack of defensive skills, I would be wary about playing a defensive mid. But I think centre mid or attacking mid this is a pretty good card. I have played him, and I like him. I think he's a good card. He feels nice. He feels pretty neat, nimble, responsive. Good passing on him. Definitely one of the better cards in this pack, this one. And then we have Sato. So, this one's interesting because he's down as a right midfielder. If you assess this guy as a right midfielder, you see good pace. Dribbling's all right, 81. Okay, fair enough, but then... The low pass and lofted pass, mm, okay, he's lacking a bit in product. Not great. He's kind of okay as a right midfielder, but not brilliant. You look at the skill set there, rising shot, nah, fair enough. First time shot and one touch pass, yeah, they're handy, but he doesn't have crossing. He's a right footer on the right, so as a right midfielder, I don't think he's great at all. He's okay, but he's just not great. But he can play as a centre forward, and that's when he's interesting, because when you then assess him as a centre forward, bearing in mind he's got first time shot, got really good pace he's got great pace he's got good attacking awareness he's tidy on the ball for a striker those, those passing attributes are actually decent and he's got really good finishing so suddenly you find he's actually a pretty useful striker um for a four star especially i think as a center forward this guy is really tidy i'm definitely going to be picking him up i've not yet but like i say those core attributes for a striker are really good the awareness the finishing the pace first time shot skill Especially if you're going to pick him up and have him on the bench as someone to bring on if you're chasing a goal, you, you know, you need a goal late in the game, that pace, the awareness and the finishing. I think this is a really useful card. You've got to look at this guy as a centre forward. And for me, uh, even outside of the jelly challenge, I think it could be really handy. I think it could be really handy. And for me, this as a centre forward, I think probably just about the best card in this pack. I like the look of this card. And then we have our other centre back, Clay Broughton. And again, we have the same issue. It's the imbalance on the defensive attributes that really annoys me. 
90 of a defensive awareness on a four star card is excellent it's outstanding tackling 82 okay not so great but it's okay aggression 87 that's pretty high 77 for engagement though you're going to notice that his defensive engagement is a bit low for a four star card it's, it's, it's just not good enough really pace could be worse but he, he is a bit slow jumping only 78 he's six foot one which is okay but 78 for jumping and if you look over at his skill set he doesn't have aerial superiority so with this guy you're gonna find he's lacking in the air um he does have man marking interception he's got some good skills there for a center back but i don't see blocker i don't see acrobatic clearance and like i say you're gonna notice the lack of aerial superiority because he only has 78 for jumps that's a bit of a shame although he does have high physical contact but yeah, the fact his defensive engagement is low, his, his jumping and the lack of aerial superiority, those are two real concerns there. Uh, he's lacking one or two other skills. He's not the quickest. On the whole, for me, for a four-star card, I think this is a poor card. Uh, I, I just don't think he's really good enough at, at centre-back. I think it's a disappointing card, personally. And then the last card in the pack is another guy who's been in player of the month before. Um, Three-star last time, this time four-stars. Mitsuta, um, he's down as creative playmaker. It's an interesting card, this. He can, he's either a tackle midfielder or, or right winger. Um, last time he was more of a right winger. This time he can kind of do it all. He's, he's not brilliant really in any area. He doesn't excel anyway. You know, the pace is decent. Um, not the best balance or stamina. You look over on the left, though, att attacking awareness at 80 is pretty good. Got good ball control, but his dribbling in tight position aren't great. He's an, he's another short player, so that low center of gravity might compensate to an extent, but he is a bit lacking there. Um, the passing again, it's it's not it's not bad, but 81 and 80 is not brilliant either on a four star card. Finishing 83 though is quite decent. He's not a striker, so for an attacking midfielder, 83 I think it's pretty good for finishing. Set pieces are right as well. You look at his skill set. First time shot, one touch pass, through passing, pinpoint crossing. Those are the most important ones. Dipping shot and rising shot are nice. That, that puts a bit of character on his shots, I suppose. But the important ones, the first time shot, one touch pass, through passing, pinpoint crossing, as I say. I think any of those positions, that's a really good selection of skills to have. He can put crosses in, he can play through balls. And if he's playing SS, especially when he gets into those attacking positions, he can finish. He can finish off chances and get your goals. So... Yeah, like one or two other cards in this pack, I think this is one of those cards where he's versatile and I think he's just, he's just useful. He's not someone who's going to go straight into one position in a team and be a really good player in that one particular role. I think he's just useful in the sense that you can fill a number of roles with him. Um, I've played both the three-star and four-star versions of him. He's tidy. He's a tidy player. I think he's, he's, uh, he's a decent card to pick up. And I think especially in the J-League challenges, if you've got four-star contracts, I think it's well worth picking up this guy. So, yeah. Tidy little card. Um, like I say, I think Sato as a striker is probably the best in this pack. Suzuki, if you put cross into the box, is a, a very good one. As I say, useful. Watanabe is a very good centre mid for four stars. I think it's uh, certainly the fact that there's so many four stars in here compared to normal. It's, uh, I think, the best player of the, player of the month selection we've had from the J-League so far. And there's some decent cards in there. So, yeah, if you've got contracts to use, hopefully that's been helpful in helping you to choose which players to use them on. So thank you for watching as always, I'll see you next time.